Progress over everything Unwavering convictions Movement is well-being You have to earn your sleep And when all the time is gone This is not a forever When my last breath goes soft You shall remember I am pride, I am courage, I am everything You can't take me alive I am pride, I am courage, I am everything You can't take me alive So, something that, uh, that I think I need to share on this channel. Um, I haven't really been consistent in posting videos. I haven't had the ability to, to be honest. With all the wedding stuff and everything else going on around me, it's been impossible to focus in on doing anything like video posting. But, uh, something I wanted to kind of get off my chest, and... Not only just get off my chest, but put out there to other people that probably need to hear it. There's a difference between talking the talk and walking the walk. And you know, you hear that all the time. They, it's like a, uh, a very common saying, right? It's something that people say all the time, you know. You, know, you walk the walk, you talk the talk. But people don't. People don't walk out what they talk. I've been learning that over the past, like, year and a half. But it's been more in my face the past, like, three months. The past three months has been extremely eye-opening for a lot of reasons in my life. And there's so many people that talk... All that talk, but they don't walk it out. And I'm not talking about just, you know... I'm, I'm not talking in a manner of, of, of finishing things. I'm talking about in everything. I'm talking about in commitments. I'm talking about in disrespect or in respect or, or uh, business, uh, professional relationships or personal relationships. So many people talk so much, but they don't walk it out. And you run into these people and you talk to these people, and it's like two totally different opinions whenever you have those conversations. Like you get the opinion of the not face to face. And then you get the opinion of face-to-face. -face. And I guess the problem that I've been having lately, the eye-opening part of this that I'm trying to communicate is, man, be both. If you're going to talk it, be about it. If you're not going to be about it, then don't talk. Just shut up. Stay in your hole, in your lane, whatever you want to call it. Because <laughs> I know there's a billion and one different variations of that, right? But don't. Just don't talk, then. Don't say anything if you're not going to do anything. If you're not going to back up what you say. If you're not going to stick to your convictions. If you're not going to proclaim the things that you're proclaiming when you're not actually around that person or, or in front of them. Because the more you talk and not walk, the more those two things are not in sync with each other then all you're doing is creating these two different persons, okay? And they don't ever line up. They don't. Because while this one's over here flapping at the gums, and this one over here is not doing anything but sitting still, it doesn't really matter. And I'm not talking in a negative way only, okay? So, like, you typically hear those things when it comes to, like, fighting or... Or arguing or holding to your your guns on on a subject I'm talking in everything um, friendships relationships professionally and personally uh, your beliefs your, your dedicated 
values. If you're going to talk about it, then you need to be about it. You know, the, the church says that all the time when it comes to Christianity. How, like, you need to set an example, right? But I feel like that goes to everything. I feel like that is encompassed in everything. You can't talk the talk unless you're going to walk the walk. You don't get to talk about people like they matter to you, but then not walk that out. You don't get to talk about how you can't stand somebody, yet be so, like, fake, phony, civil to their face. You can't say that you're going to do something and then never take action. You can't. Because if you do, those two entities that you're creating aren't going to be in sync. And what happens is when those two entities aren't in sync, people see you. You expose yourself. You expose yourself for who you are really. Because the actions are the story. Not the story itself. I'm going to say that again. The actions are the story, not the story itself. Because you can run around and you can say all these things, you can make up all these different uh, elaborate things and tell people this and say that and and type things out and, and text message and, and all those things, but unless you actually write it out, it doesn't matter. What's up, bud? What can I do for you? I have no clue, bud. You got a cigarette I don't smoke. No. People are weird. Anyway. That's kind of where I wanted to get to with this conversation. Because I see so much talking from so many different Places. From from people, from churches, from media, from friendships, from professional relationships, from from all these different aspects, from family. But man, if you don't if you don't actually act on the things that you're saying, then why are you saying it? Because words don't go anywhere. Action does. Action's what creates success. Action's what creates the standard. Action is what makes things into big, strong, beautiful things. Not that. Uh, it used to be said all the time, like forever ago, that a man is only as good as his word. Because it used to be that a man's word depicted who that man was. If that man said he was going to do something, then his word was his bond. Like his word was was code. Was was it was as good a signature on paper if he said he was going to do something. And our society's gotten so far away from that because now we have social media and we get to be phony and fake on here and we get to put on these elaborate shows that we're better than people or or whatever the situation may be and we get to create these little bubbles in social media and in and, and these different entities around us but action action is what what determines whether or not that's real and if you're not a man of your word, if, if your, your word is not your bond, then what are you good for? What are you worth? What, what, is, what is the words coming out of your mouth mean? What is, what is that worth? If I say something and I don't take action on it and I don't do it, then what was the point in wasting the oxygen to say it? Why put it out into the universe if you're not going to carry through with it?
I guess what I'm getting at, if I boiled it all down, these two entities, if they don't match up, figure it out, man. And I'm not saying, like, you need to take action. And I'm not saying you need to talk. I'm saying you need to make them match. If your words don't reflect your actions, then you need to figure out who you are and why they don't match out. And then do what you got to do to make a match, man. That's all I got. I had to get that out. I actually pulled over to get that out. I'm out.